Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021. We are still in the star sign of Taurus, but on the 21st of May, we are moving into Gemini. So, what that means, or how can we use it, how we can utilize this <clears throat> this week is as follows Gemini is governed by Mercury. Well, this week Mercury is direct, so there's no retrograde, which is not a bad thing because Mercury is retrograde five months a year, so, <clears throat> excuse me, not supposed to scare us. But Mercury has a very distinct energy and every and each planet in our solar system has a healing frequency. Now the healing frequency of Mercury is 141.27. I'm going to post this here somewhere. <clears throat> and so um, that means if you are, as we're moving away from uh, while we're in the, at the end of Taurus going into Gemini and Mercury therefore becomes more prominent, becomes stronger, um, it makes sense to use the frequency of that planet that is the most prominent at this point in time. Um, so you find um, videos of sound healing or sound, sound healing videos um, with the Mercury energy of 141.27 on YouTube or any other platform, I'm sure you find them there, which is all very powerful um, because why not hire your energy, which is what that does, if that makes sense, right? So, Gemini is represented by um, the twins, Castor and Pollux. One of them was the son of Zeus and asked his father um, to let his brother, who had a different father and therefore was not a god, um, and thus was, uh, was, um, wasn't was immortal. And so the, the deal was made that the, the, the brother um, that wasn't immortal um, could spend his immortality forever with his brother and be they became a constellation. So yes, it's all Greek and Roman mythology, but here is the first inclination that this is in essence a love story. This is saying, you know, I have a half brother who is not immortal by, by just birth and I want him to spend eternity with me. So. This is a, a, a beautiful love story, if that makes sense, and not sure how this relates, why this relates, but, you know, let's just see if um, love is in the air uh, for a lot of us. And that brings me to the um, overall energy for the week ahead. Like I said, we're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021, going into Gemini on the 21st, so we're still at the end of Taurus, this is the overall energy for the week to come. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> we have the heron and the goat. What the guides are saying to us this week is to not stress about things. Really, really important because the heron is obviously a bird that stands in the water so to speak, all day, and when a fish comes, he goes, thank you, which means opportunities are coming our way. This is not a week to stress about things. This is also not a week to um, to worry, because the goat, as I have said in many of the, the videos, the, the, the goat is the depiction of an animal that hangs on the cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. It's also in, um, in different tarot decks. <clears throat> it is used as a money card. <coughs> Since I work with Native Americans, um, Native American guides and spirit animal guides, it doesn't quite represent that in this deck, <coughs> but it denotes nonetheless that for us all, for all of us this week, it is really important to understand that we all can live our lives 
this week without chasing things. Not a good idea this week to chase things at all. And this is also a week where we should have some faith because when you have the, the goat, which is telling you, you know, <clears throat> you're going to be fine. You're not going to, you're not going to stumble. You're not going to fall. You're going to be fine. Even if you wait for opportunities to come, this sounds to me, <clears throat> and we know more when we get to the star signs, like a week where any additional stress that you can have, and sometimes, because it's for all of us, create yourself, like we through worries, will not help at all, right? So, that was the overall energy for the week ahead. Now we're looking at the first star sign. We're still in Taurus. Let's see what we got for Taurians this very week, May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021. Here we go. Okay. I always say that we have overlapping energies a lot where, you know, um, sort of the energy follows us, so to speak. And the overall energy was to take things slowly and easily and not to panic and not to stress this week. And for Taurians, what the universe is saying to you this week is that you're actually surrounded by your guides. Therefore, you can let your hair down, you can have fun, and you can have faith and trust that things are, are working and that there is um, help um, coming and help is being generated as we speak. Because the, 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 the main message here is that healing energy flows through you. That's what it says on this depiction of this card, which is quite nice. <coughs> which also means when you are healing, um, which is always a good thing, that goes hand in hand with having a week where you're not stressing and where you're not stressed. Because energetically speaking, now that Taurus is making way for Gemini, you are beginning, Taurians, you are beginning a new cycle. Because your month um, of your star sign is coming to an end and you're going into a new kind of energy new beginning so see this week where you are probably a bit more focused because you don't have to chase stuff um, and you have to be see Taurians because you can be quite stern and sometimes you you keep chasing stuff because it isn't has been resolved you know the guides are saying to Taurians like just take it easy this week right we're all here you don't have to chase things some things are, 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 are maybe just not ready yet. But they're asking you to realize that what is needed the most is for you to allow for healing to happen. And that can only really happen when you learn to be calm. And you're beginning a new cycle, right? All life is cyclical, so there's nothing to worry about. But let it happen. In other words, Torians, don't hold on to things that aren't working but say to your guide, say to the universe, I release everything and anything that is no longer serving me. And um, I'm allowing a new cycle to happen. And that's a good way of manifesting <coughs> help. Um, and that's all you need to do. So you're beginning a new cycle, right? Don't, <laughs> sounds wrong. It's just the way that, um, it comes in here. Don't mess it up by being stubborn. So I'm getting the energy of being a bit stern and stubborn and I'm, you know, I do what I want kind of thing. Um, all they're saying to you is this week, all the universe is extending to you is olive branches. So take them, right? And allow yourself to go along with the healing and, and enjoy the beginning of a new cycle, right? That was Torians going into Gemini. Obviously, just like I said earlier, um, Gemini is the um, the star sign that comes in this month on the 21st. So we're in the star sign of Gemini by the end of this week. So that is therefore the most prominent energy. And because Gemini's your star sign is only beginning, um, the energy that is coming through here is amplified by the very fact that your star sign is hitting us 
again. Right? So let's see what we got for, for, for Gemini. Let's have a look. Okay. You have the seagull, the tiger, and the lion. What they're saying to you, number one, remember the overall energy is to is to be calm about things and not chase anything. But you ought to. And I know you know these are general readings, so I'm sure they're not they they they, they don't apply to all <laughs> Gemini's, right? But my belief is that whoever needs to hear the message finds it, right? So while this is a week to um, throttle back and not do so much, the guides are asking you to have a plan, think about things that that are important to you and think about how to accomplish them without the panic and this is another thing that i'm getting strongly here without the feeling of oh this has to be exactly the way i write it down <clears throat> allow for changes to occur because the one constant or the only constant in the universe really is change and so but they were they're asking you to have a plan have some sort of an idea as to where you're going in life and it's always better to go somewhere then nowhere, and it doesn't have to be fixed, right? But they're asking you to reflect on your life and then make these changes. How much? Then they make these changes because you have the tiger as your middle animal, uh, animal guide, and the tiger is basically telling you that um, you have a lot of stamina. So, and because you have a lot of stamina, you will get through stuff. So, this week, take a breather and make notes about where you want to go because ultimately, you have the lion as your outgoing animal guide, which means while definitely some courage is needed to make changes and allow for changes to happen, you have a lot of strength. And so because the lion is basically the energy that stays with you as the outgoing energy for this week, um, and the lion is all about territory, you know, and, and making sure your, your, your space is, is safe, um, it makes sense to therefore write down the changes that, that you want to manifest and then as this all progresses you got the line energy who make sure once there is a plan in place right you're going to make sure that things work okie dokie that was Gemini we're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 21st going into the next star sign which is Cancer sorry Mark Let's have a look what we got for Cancerians. <laughs> that is good. Remember in the beginning when, when I talked about the the um, the Gemini coming in and, and Castor and Pollux and stuff and I said this is some sort of a love story and I wonder if there is some love. Love is in the air coming up. <clears throat> Gemini's uh, sorry, Cancerians rather, mm -hmm. you have the, the voyage of the heart. You're in the middle of, of a journey where love really flows through you and to you. So this is a week where you should ask the universe for help with regards to any romantic endeavors you have. And also, because this one is getting strongly for Cancerians as well, Don't go into your worries, oh, this might not work, you know, um, or whatever your insecurities are. This week, <coughs> trust a little that because love is flowing through you and to you, that the universe sends you someone that works for you. And if you're already in a relationship, then this is just where you realize I'm in a relationship, right? And we can still make this work. We make this work, there needs to be some tweaking maybe here and there, but because you have also uh, infinite abundance as a, a phrase that is pouring into your life as well, just like love is. And abundance is not necessarily only financial. So anything and everything you wish for is on the way. Remember the old energy was not to fight anything, not to... Um, 
panic, not to stress. So that is your biggest problem, Cancerians, because you, you can overthink. You can be a bit of a worrier uh, type person. That doesn't suit you at all this week. Enjoy this week and also claim love. Claim to be the center of the universe for a change, right? and be looked at something and someone absolutely bloody awesome, right? So claim it um, and, then, and, and allow yourself to feel how great that feels, right? So <clears throat> with regards to Cancerians, um, it's all about love. The guides haven't changed topics, so they're not talking about anything else. Here we go. <laughs> Going to the next star sign, which is the star sign of Leo. Leos, since this is a week for all of us to not chase anything, to let things happen, let things flow, um, waiting, wait for opportunities, what the guides are saying to you is elevate yourself and see things from a higher point of view. Observe and reflect on life as it presents itself to you just to see where things are at and if you are in fact content while you're progressing through life you are middle we have three three cards here um, and your your middle one the middle one is always the most important because it is flanked by by two others so the main message is the middle one your main message is basically saying to you that support is all around you but if you feel you're going things alone, maybe just stop and have a look who you could reach out to. And maybe if this is something that you have to go through all by yourself, in a way, there's nothing wrong with having a day off, a night off. Um, and just so like, you know what, I'm going to have a, a good time with a buddy of mine and do that because Energetically speaking, Leos, there is changes brewing and changes not only coming but continuing. So it is very difficult to pinpoint at this point in time what's unfolding because so many things seem to be in flux still for Leos. And all the universe is saying to you, which is the phrase on this out, outgoing energy, <coughs> is walk in beauty. See the wonder in everything. And also, this seems to be a big topic this week uh, all across the board. Have some faith that things will turn out the way they're supposed to and that you're exactly where you are supposed to be at this point in time. Right? That was the energy for Leo. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Virgo. We're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd. 2021 please subscribe to the, the the channel and like the the facebook page so you're always up to date with what's going on here we go going into the star sign of virgo virgo you have the turkey the rabbit and the groundhog so while this is a week where you will very likely, and this is the phrase that I'm getting here, continue to feel misunderstood. I would even go as far as saying feeling a bit misplaced. It's like, you know, what the hell am I doing here, right? That sort of energy. And all the guys are saying is if this is the energy you're carrying around, right, then that's all that's coming to you is doubt. So understand that communication is not easy. We're just having a Gemini coming in, which is governed by Mercury. Even though this week Mercury is, is uh, direct, it goes into, uh, into retrograde on the 29th. So we're safe this week. <laughs> right? It is an energy of things going slower, a slower pace. And this is exactly what the guides asked you to do this week. Have a slower pace, right? Just thought I, I'm going to mention... Um, Gemini and, and, and Mercury again here. So communication in your case this week is already beginning to not be so great. 
right? And my feeling is because the guides use the word continue. Um, very likely you are you have been in situations, Virgos, where you felt not listened to, not necessarily understood. And all the guides are saying is this will continue this week, but your middle animal, your middle animal guide is the rabbit, and the rabbit has loads of rabbit holes and they extend forever. And what they're saying is if this isn't for you, something else will be found. You're not as stuck as you think. All you need is some 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 <laughs> sounds horrible. Some balls and say like, yeah, I'm gonna do something else. Right? But not this week. This week you can manifest if you feel that where you are is not 100% where you feel you should be, but don't make massive changes if that makes sense. Here's why, because your outgoing animal guide is the groundhog. And what that means is that the moment you feel a lot of things are a continuation of exactly how my life went yesterday and so there's a frustration because there is not enough going on that really fulfills you and all they're saying is your middle animal guide was the rabbit and is the rabbit so this is a week to ask your guides ask the universe to help you manifest change to get you to where you feel you belong more than you do at this point in time in your current life, right? That was Virgo, going to the next star sign, which is Libra. And the one thing I want to say before we go into Libra, really, you have noticed that sometimes the guides who are normally quite in your face are um, a bit vague. That's because, again, we're going into the planet that is in retrograde five five times a year, or sorry, five months a year. So we're going into a change in, into a changed energy, into an energy of change, into the energy of uh, at the moment I'm not so sure where I'm going, so maybe I just hang back, that kind of stuff. So you probably have noticed that the energy here at times the, the, the messages here were not as in your face as you have come to expect, so to speak, um, should you watch the videos um, regularly, right? I only work here, I just noticed it, so I'm gonna say it. So, let's go into Libra. Let's have a look, let's see what we got for Libra, Librans. We have the Osprey and the Wood Duck. Short and sweet this is gonna be for Libra, because you have already made progress with whatever it is you're planning in your life. You have already made quite a bit of progress. You're not at the beginning of new experiences. You already have manifested quite a bit of things coming to you that are coming to you. Downside is because you have the wood duck as your outgoing uh, animal guide. And the guides only gave me two cards for you. Um, the wood duck is basically saying to you, things are not ready yet, mate. Right? You need to be a bit more patient. Right? We're working on it. You working on it, not really yet, right? But don't despair, don't think, you know, fuck all is happening because it isn't. There is a lot happening, it's just this is a week, remember the overall energy where we're being asked to hang back, right? And wait for opportunities to come our way. And that's exactly what the guides are saying to you, right? Look at the overall energy and internalize it because this week, no matter how pushy you are, you're not going to get anywhere with it. So you might as well have a nice week, right? That was Libra going to the next star sign. This is the star sign of Scorpio. We're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021. With um, Taurus changing to Gemini on the 21st. So there's a, there's a, a shift in energy happening, if that makes sense, right? So, let's have a look what we got for Scorpios. Scorpios, you need to or to go within this week, right? Again, the overall energy told us, you know, opportunities will come our way and we just should <coughs> wait for them to happen. And 
your answers are already within. In Scorpio's case, what is asked of you is to realize that sometimes you're not getting anywhere, which again seems to be really a, a, a phrase that the guides are using loads of times this week, unless you're stopping. And so what they're saying, saying to you is, in a way, seek shelter, take shelter, and um, internalize things a little bit more. And remember that when you go within, the answers are much more likely to come to you because you are going within. And also, this is about your intuition. This is about realizing, you know what? You, you, you are a good person and also your outgoing card is amazing um, because it tells you that you're reaching your destination and that your light is shining brightly. So all they're saying is for this week, right, rather than externalizing a lot of stuff, which also has to do with the frustration that you may feel and then therefore you sort of give out a little, um, seems to be a pointless exercise this week. So what they're saying to you is you, you just go within... Um, recharge your battery as well and um, you're reaching your destination whatever it is you're manifesting is really on its way right and my feeling still is because they asked you to go within that again more time is needed to see where things are going okie dokie that was Scorpio going to the next star sign which is Sagittarius let's have a look what we got for Sagittarians Sagittarians, you have the rabbit and the seahorse. We had the rabbit before as another star sign. What the rabbit is telling you is that you're not as stuck as you feel you may be. And there's opportunities, remember over energy, opportunities are coming away. There are opportunities created as we speak. But you sometimes fail to remember, Sagittarians, that all life is cyclical. So things that you have gone through, progress that you have made, will again begin to be difficult so you can learn the next lesson, if that makes sense. And so don't worry and don't fear change. Embrace change that could come your way. Because here's the thing about Sagittarians that the guides want to stress this week. You have the seahorse as your outgoing energy. The only thing the seahorse always tells me to tell anyone when the seahorse shows up is not about the fact that the, 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 the male carry the babies, right? And that is anatomically bloody awesome. <laughs> no, what the seahorse tells you, tells me, tells us, but this is for you Sagittarians, is that 90% of seahorses don't make it in captivity. So don't aim for an easy life. Don't aim for, I just want to have this position. I'm quite happy here, right? This is not your, really weird word, but this is not your fate to be stationary almost. Uh, and not change. Your life, Sagittarians, is about changing. And um, your, your soul, uh, for want of a better word, um, is constantly, in the sense, transforming because there's so much you want to experience. And my feeling this week for Sagittarians is, is that either you are, you are being held back or you're holding yourself back. And there's pointless, nobody knows what tomorrow brings. And um, so hoping and looking for signs if the next step is the best step is not really working. This is about intuition. This is about you saying, well, this has come to an end. This doesn't make me super happy anymore. I'm going somewhere else. And all they're saying to you is, because that's again the, the thing they're stressing here for Sagittarians, is don't hang on to situations because they're convenient, right? Don't. Please remember this. This is a, this is a reading. <coughs> you found that general for a reason. 
Um, and the guides are saying to you is sometimes you stay way too long in one place or in one situation that does not fulfill you. That does not mean that you can't settle down. Don't hear that wrong. But you, you, you are quite <laughs> the rebel at times, which is a good thing, right? Because you question a lot of things. And all you need is the right people around you who are okay with your quirks um, and, you know, go it with you, if that makes sense, right? So, that was that. Going to the next star sign, which is the star sign of Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorns. Okay. Capricorns. We had that earlier, I believe it was, in, uh, some other star sign anyway, uh, maybe Libra, <coughs> about going within. We're now in the star sign of Capricorn, and what they're saying to you is, you need some solitude this week. You need to have some time out, some time off from things, because it is in silence that you will find yourself again. So maybe whatever is happening in your life was all a bit much, right? So you need um, some solitude. And also you have to look at your drama, look at your past to heal what you're going through in the present, if that makes sense. So the way the guides make me feel is, is whatever you're going through is real, the struggle is real, but a lot of that stuff is because you're not rejuvenating enough, you're not resting enough, and you're carrying some stuff with you from the past that you don't need to carry around with you, which is also <coughs> why they're asking you to seek solitude, um, so you can actually figure this out, if that makes sense, right? Good thing is, your outgoing um, energy is telling you that what you ought to do by healing, by letting stuff go that is no longer needed and no longer important or helpful to you. Once you begin to do that, you will remember and realize that it is time to choose your path, at least reflect on the path you're on, um, because what the guides are saying clearly to you, Capricorns, is that anything is possible. All is possible, actually. Um, but the, the error that you, you commit, in, in a way, without wanting to, is to be um, a being that doesn't let go easily. And not everything you carry with you is helpful, right? Here we go. That was Capricorn going now into the next star sign, which is Aquarius. We're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021, going from Taurus into Gemini on the 21st. So there is a change in energy. Let's have a look what we got for Aquarians. Interesting, Aquarians. You have the crow and the insect. This week, it is important for you to realize that you have gone through quite some changes, and there is another, <laughs> there's a, a couple of other things still to come. If that makes sense, you. So you haven't quite found your space yet. You haven't quite found your setting yet and all the guys are saying is don't be impatient right you're not in the wrong place you just hasn't haven't your brain your soul haven't quite you haven't quite settled down because you have to grow which is basically about renewal and transformation so you are very likely in situations that feel like no idea where to go here and all the guys are saying is we can't answer this because you need to go through a few things uh, before you can figure this out. Here's the important thing though, your outgoing energy card is the insects. 
and without insects nothing would grow so the message is to realize that without you the, the world wouldn't be the same um, people that don't listen to you it is their loss right and yes maybe you have to um, assert yourself a little this week right in a non-threatening way because the over energy was to hang back right but the insect is telling you to 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 remember how important you are and that if you begin to believe in yourself it can show others to do the same right so that was aquarians now going into the next star sign we only have pisces and aries left this week now we're going to the second last star sign of the week we're looking at the week of may the 17th to the 23rd we're now looking at the star sign of pisces which is my star signs i'm always quite intrigued um and have a look what what we're doing okay <laughs> so for us pisceans we have interesting messages here one is that um We're, we're, some of us, remember this, this doesn't always apply to everybody, but um, what the guides are asking you is to release control fully, right? Things happen for a reason. When nothing happens, that happens for a reason too. And for us Pisceans, what we're being asked is to let things go and um, this is what I'm getting. Is sort of cleansing waters which means you know tears are sacred medicine heal more cry more it'll do you a world of good right <laughs> um, because as you purify that's when you are um, releasing a lot of your your, um, your your vibrant self if that makes sense right so <clears throat> my feeling is for us Pisceans is that we're just having to realize that we're on a journey, right? Life is a journey. And we, just, just, we, we should just surrender to the journey, right? Wherever it is taking us, let it take us, right? And my feeling is, because it is, is here about releasing control, is um, somehow, even though things feel like we're a bit stuck, and it's not going anywhere we're still trying to forge the path that we want to go on to and the guides are saying is just surrender right there is a bigger picture here you're part of the bigger picture we can't say more at this point in time whatever that means um but you're part of, a, of the bigger picture and it is one of the learning curves apparently for us uh, um pisceans at least for some of us is to sounds weird to realize that this is something you signed up to right when you came here to be in a situation where you feel fuck sake. <laughs> right. um what am i supposed to do nothing just surrender to the journey and as the journey continues things will become clearer and opportunities remember the overall energy Pisceans the overall energy this week was to go with the flow and wait for things to happen to you right again because we have cleansing of waters which means purification crying things out very little point in holding on to feeling shite every day right my, my feeling is that, that it is uh, for whoever whoever resonates with this message here is to um, my, okay the guys are showing me an alarm clock and um, and they're showing me <laughs> back in the early 90s I um, there was an English American club in my hometown and so I went there to improve my English, and there was an English fella and, and, and an American fella, and they would be the hosts. And what they would do is they would suggest a topic and then put an alarm clock on the table and put it to 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, 
they moved on. So, this has got nothing to do with my hometown. This is just imagery that they give me to explain this to you. And they're not saying to you put an alarm clock on and, and after 15 minutes of, of dwelling on how shite your life is, move on. But in essence, what they're saying to you is when you go deeper into frustration, stop and pull yourself out of it because you're not doing yourself a favor if you're not feeling great. Right? So, again, thank you. That was, um, that was Pisceans going into the last die sign of Aries. Again, for the whole week, I have to say this, you know, as you know, this is we're well in our, into our uh, very 105th video, whatever we're doing here. Point is, uh, there have been 100 episodes before this one. And this week, I find the guides to be very vague, which they're not often. They're normally quite in your face at times. And um, even though they're still helpful, if that makes sense, it's just because the energy of the week is to say like, no, you know, just hang back a little. Um, they don't let me see all that much that can be given as do this and you're going to be all right kind of thing. Right? So it is what it is. Going to the star sign, the star sign of Aries, the last star sign or the final star sign for this week. We're looking at the week of May the 17th to the 23rd, 2021, going from Taurus to Gemini on the 21st. So there's a shift in energy um, permeating the whole week, so to speak. Right? So, um, Aries, you. Again, another star sign. You are being asked to go within and look at what's going on in my life, if that makes sense, right? Because th there is a lot of new beginnings for Aries and the, 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 the sentence here is beneath the surface lies great bounty, which means when you reflect on what's going on, you will then see, oh, this is a stumbling block. I didn't see that. That didn't quite see that. And so therefore you shake things loose that feel a bit um, difficult at the moment. And they're also asking you um, to open to your spiritual source. How okay, this is what that means. A couple of months ago, um, last year actually, someone said, Oh, you know, couldn't you do the overall uh, like like um um, the, the every star sign and the overall energy for each month of 2021. So I did the whole year 2021. And the, the, the main message for every sentient being in 2021 was to be your true and live your true spiritual self. Right? And that's what they are reminding you uh, about, Aries. Is there is new beginnings inside you. They are going to show you if you're calm enough, um, where change needs to be happening, but they're asking you to look at your spiritual self and realize that this is the essence of your being. So be, be true to yourself this week and tell people, that's what I'm getting strongly for Aries, people that don't understand how deep you are, right, have no right to judge you just because they're not so deep. Right? So my feeling is to allow yourself to be who you truly are and maybe tell some people off that don't quite get it. Right? So that was um, a bit of a longer video this week too, because I oftentimes, you know, oftentimes the guides gave me um, three cards for each star sign and also talked sort of, uh, you know, beat around the bush a little. That's how I feel this week. In any case, it is what it is, right? Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the Facebook page. Um, and um, yeah, if you're somewhere near uh, the Canock or the Midlands, I'm always happy to have uh, guest readers here with me to report to re record uh, an episode. So if you're up for that, get in touch too. Please, please, please share this widely. And like I said, the most important thing, uh, it's really to subscribe to the channel so you always know uh, when new videos are being uploaded. All right? Okie dokie, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.